Hello, hello, hello everyone, NecroVMX here, and, uh, yeah, the lighting's not amazing here. Let me go ahead and turn this on, actually. Welcome back with more Dragon Quest VII. Fragments of the Forgotten Past on the 3DS, and, uh, yeah. Let me just get on my windows where I need them to be, and we're good, alright. So, oh, I know where I am, okay. Uh, I'm gonna move the camera, oh. Alright. Oh wait, did I use that item that I got? I think it was a seat of agility or some kind of seat. I don't know if I, I don't know if I used it. I must have, but I didn't. Hold on, I saw something in there. I saw like a super seat of resilience from a fra a, a tablet that I never used. I'm uh, just making sure. I thought I saw that in there. There it is, Super Seed of Resilience. There we go, by six, damn. All right, we're good. So here's the Temple Palace. Ah, visitors, welcome. Wait, can it be? Yes, yes it must be. It is just as the legends describe. Your appearance, your faces. I have been waiting for you. Every desert dweller has been waiting for you. I must go and inform the queen. Please wait here a short while. I shall return imminently. Honored saviors of the sands, we have waited a long time for this day. We knew that you would come, that your wanderings across the vast reaches of time would eventually bring you here again. There is not a single desert dweller who has not dreamed of your coming. Oh my. I'm sexy as fuck. They're dreaming of me coming? Damn. <laughs> Oster's got that drip though. Damn. Now please, come this way. Don't tell me where, where to come. <laughs> Hi, Wayne. I must ask that you wait here a short while. I shall go and summon her majesty. I quit! <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing if she did that? Like, hey! Get your ass over here! <laughs> I would be down for that. Ma'am, your hat was clipping to the top of the thing. On behalf of her august majesty, Queen Neferta, allow me to welcome you back to our desert region, realm. We have eagerly awaited this day, the day when the saviors of the sands would visit us once more from across the great reaches of time. You saved the desert, you saved our queen, you saved our people. You shall be made to feel very welcome during your time here, you shall want for nothing. Such are the stipulations laid down by the last will and testament of King Hadid. Looks like he married the queen at some point. And such are the wishes of all the people of the kingdom who owe you a debt greater than words can express. Saviors of the Sands, welcome. Yay! We like him, yay! Silence, please. Her Majesty wishes to impart a message of her own. Queen Neferta thanks you for making the long and arduous journey to visit us here. And she thanks you for also for the great service you did our people many moons ago. We owe you our very existence. Yay! Yay! We still like them! Yay! Silence, please! Our present state of prosperity and happiness, indeed, the very face fact that we are able to live a life of peace here in the desert, all are direct consequences of your actions. Queen Neferta offers thanks not only from herself and her present subjects, but from all of those of the royal line and all who have ever called these sands home. On behalf of the generations that have been, and those still to come, once again we say thank you. You are our honored guests. We ask that you make yourselves entirely at home. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Tonight there will be a feast to celebrate your return. The entire kingdom will participate. We hope you will enjoy the humble celebration of your deeds. Please, treat the Temple Palace as you would your own home. Your comfort is our utmost priority. 
Yay! Yay! We're allowed to cheer now! They're not gonna say silence, please! Yay! The banquet lasts until the early hours of the morning and features all kinds of exotic and delicious food and drink. The entire kingdom seems genuinely overjoyed that Oster and his friends have come to visit. After eating and drinking their fill, the party spend the rest of the evening singing, dancing, and thoroughly enjoying themselves. Then morning comes, all over your face and chest. All over you. It seems that you have slept well, Auster. This is good. You must have been tired indeed after last night's festivities. You are our saviors, and we owe you everything. The Queen would like you, to, like you to know that we will never forget this. If you are ever in need of our assistance or support of any kind, we will always be happy to help you. Her Majesty hopes that in a way, we may at least be able to repay you a small part of the great debt of gratitude we owe. There is also something else. We believe that Queen Fertiti entrusted you with a certain item. Queen Deferta would like to reiterate her predecessor's request and ask that you do your best to keep it safe and out of the hands of monsters. Please remember, you are all most welcome to return to the desert at any time you wish. We will always be more than happy to see you. Okay, that was a lot. Uh, let's talk to some people here. Oh, that's Maribel. Hello there, saviors. Now, in case you are not aware, I had better inform you of an important law of the desert. Her Majesty the Queen does not engage in direct conversation with anyone. Instead, her spirit maidens act as intermediaries. Now, we kind of noticed that. Our saviors, our dear saviors, I must thank you. I must thank you for deigning to speak with me. I suppose you are curious about what I am doing here. A fine question. You see, Her Majesty the Queen occasionally visits the shrine and... Hmm? Why does she do this? Ah, another fine question. Well, our queen also serves as the high priestess of all desert dwellers. Now, when her hallowed majesty makes this one of her shrine visits, she always passes by this spot. And this is why I stand here, in order to gaze upon her countenance from as close by as possible. Rather embarrassing, I suppose. Yeah, that that's kind of creepy. Dear saviors, feel free to converse with anyone you may encounter here in the Temple Palace or in Albalad. After all, we desert dwellers have waited a long time for this opportunity. The opportunity to speak directly with those to whom we owe your, our lives. And you're going to say the same exact thing. Okay. Oh, it is you, our saviors. A very good day to you. My sister was today delivered of a child, and I have come to inform the queen of this auspicious news. Her Majesty wishes to know of all such developments. That is the extent to which she cares for her subjects. She's like, who had a baby? And why wasn't I invited to the baby shower? This is Her Majesty's chamber. You may, of course, enter whenever you please, hallowed saviors. This is, yeah, you're gonna say the same exact thing, aren't you? Here. Um, let's see what's up in here. Up in here? Dear saviors, welcome to the Temple Palace. Please, make yourselves at home. By the sands, it is the saviors. What an honor it is to meet you. This is where the queen's garments are stored. It is also where her majesty comes to change her outfits, with our assistance, of course. And go through her shit. A silk bustier. Hold on, let me see if that's any good. Defense-wise, probably not, but I'm gonna check. Oh, it actually is really good. I'm gonna give it to Maribel. All right. And a set of noble garb. I know that's out of date at this point. And a silver tiara? I might want to check the silver tiara. Let me check that. It's more style points, but less defense. Hold on a second. I'm just keeping an eye on Discord because I'm waiting for certain people to... Yeah. Damn. Certain people to answer things. Okay. We're good. Is there somebody there? Oh no, it was a stool that I saw. Okay. Stool. Let's look over here. Oh, talk to you. Dear saviors, look, please look. Look at all the water that flows through the palace garden. Here in the desert, there is no greater indicator of one's wealth and the amount of water one can afford to waste. That's kind of wasteful, but you said it yourself. Oh, our legendary saviors, welcome to the palace library. These tomes contain the wisdom of the desert dwellers, collected over the course of countless centuries. King Hadid's last will and testament is also kept here in the library. 
In it, he commands those who survive him to ensure that your efforts to guarantee the future of the desert peoples are never forgotten. And that you be given a worth welcome worthy of true heroes if ever you journey across great expanse of time to visit us once more. I have seen the document with mine own eyes, you understand. This is why I am so surprised when you arrived here. You are identical to the saviors as depicted in the image that the king drew to accompany the document. Long ago, this desert was shrouded in darkness and came under attack by foul monsters. It was at this darkest of hours that an ancient dragon, believed to have long since perished, was resurrected by the waters of Mother Naya. Riding upon this dragon's back, a group of young heroes traveled upstream to confront the monsters and defeated their mo master in battle. The leader of this group was our own king, King Hadid. And as for the rest of the group, why it was you, our saviors! Ha 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 ha! The Blood Ruby was an accursed gem which brought evil to the desert and darkness to the skies. You know this already, of course. You are the ones who removed it from the face of the likeness of the great evil. Naturally, our ancestors wished to ensure that the ruby was never again used for evil purposes again, and sealed it away where none may find it. I do not disapprove of this precaution. But I cannot deny that I am curious about its powers. I wish that I could see it with my own eyes, just once. Let's see, nothing interesting there. The Great Spirits, Volume 2. The Great Spirit of the Earth is not the only mighty spirit in this world. There also exists the Fire Spirit, the Water Spirit, and the Wind Spirit. None who inhabit this world should ever forget to give thanks to these mighty beings. Okay, let's take a look. It was many, many years ago. My grandfather sat me down and told me of the land where he was born. He spoke of a faraway place, a place so distant that neither ship nor camel could ever reach it. Now that I have followed in his footsteps and become a scholar of the castle, I, believe, I, uh, I find I cannot forget his tale. One day, I mean to set out and seek it. To journey in search of the land of my forefathers. Nothing. Um, this book goes on the shelf, and this parchment belongs here. Oh, the saviors! Greetings to you! I am yet, as yet, an, merely an apprentice academic. It is my duty to put away the books when the scholars have finished with them. Well, somebody's got to do that. It's a kind of an important job when you think about it, right? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, let's check this room. Oh, it is the saviors. How do you do? I work as a guard here at the Temple Palace. All posts must be manned at all times, day and night. As a result, we take turns to sleep in this room. I am only informing of this in case you should think I am neglecting my duties, you understand. Now I get how it works. And there's an item shop here? Let's see what they got, if anything. Dude, you're talking a lot for an item shop person. I mean, he's basically just sucking me off. Let's see what we got. Nothing interesting. Okay. Cat! Ouch! The cat is glaring at the party with contempt in its eyes. Somebody must have trodden on its tail. Not me. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's so much of an honor to see me. I'm so cool. Alright, what do we got? Uh, sort of shelter rough. Let's get that. Magic shields for Oster and Maribel. Oh yeah, let's get those. All right. Oh, I need money. All right, hold on. Let's sell some stuff. I know I got stuff to sell. Let's see. Let's sell the cloak of evasion. Bunny tail, we don't need that. And let's see, the silk robe, get rid of that. Oh, oh, oh. The assassin's dagger, get rid of that. All right. Oh, garish garb, get rid of that. How much was this? 6,091 now. It's, uh, 5,000, so we can get it now. Okay. I mean, I have more stuff to sell, but... I only tend to sell things when I need the money, you know, and then only enough to get me what I need. Hold on, did I do that right? 
Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, 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 stop pressing that button. Alright, let's go in here. Oh my, the saviors! In our lowly kitchens of all places. What do you mean? This is where the food's at. All the queen's meals are prepared by spirit maidens such as myself. That is the custom of the desert. And a fine custom it is too. It is my firm belief that the humbler the cook, the finer the cooking. Alright, smashy smashy. The cat is staring intently at the food they're cooking. Yeah. Yo, feed this cat, though. The cat needs food. Alright. Uh, let's go upstairs. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on here, but I can talk to these people. Queen Neferta is presently to be found on the floor below this one. On the floor below that are the graves of our previous queens and our most sacred shrine. Oh, this is the... Oh, this is the... Okay, the, yeah, it's all underground. Dear Saviors, please enter at your convenience. That's right. All right, so let me actually go further down for I... Because that'll get me out of here. Check out the cemetery. Many generations of royalty have been buried here. But this place of rest has in fact rather humbler beginnings. Indeed, I believe it was you who dug the very first graves here. Well, Maribel did. Welcome, saviors. It is an honor to finally meet you. I have heard, of course, of what you and King Hadid did in this place. Burying our fallen brethren with your bare hands. Look at what you've started has now become. Let's see. Here lies Queen Kamunut. Hello. Yeah, yeah. I think the only remarkable ones are the big ones. Queen Teo. Queen Amuna. Queen Fertiti. That's the one we met. Queen Mercager. Oh, I'm trying to talk to this guy. Queens of the desert continue to watch over their subjects, even as they pass into the next life. This is why they are buried beneath the temple palace. Doing so confers the protection of our departed monarchs upon us. If you say so... All right, oh, come on, let's get the hell out of here. It looks like you could actually go further down, though. Let me just see. The sacred shrine of the desert dwellers lies at the bottom of these stairs. As our saviors, you are, of course, welcome to enter at any time. I don't remember what was down here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think there's anything to do here, though. Like, I don't think there's any people here or items. Oh, there are people. All right, let me see if I can get over to the people. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get down there, though. Uh, 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 uh. Here we go. This is our shrine. It is a most sacred place. Our saviors are always welcome here, of course. Perhaps you would like to offer a prayer to the spirit of the land. The lotus flower is said to be the seat of the ruler of the heavens. This is why the shrine contains these sacred lotus flowers, as well as the holy waters of Mother Nile. It is the earthly domain of all that is sacred. On the banks of Mother Nile, far, far upstream, stands the great likeness of the spirit of the land. The gaze of the likeness keeps monsters from the desert and ensures our safety. Nothing is of more importance to we desert dwellers than water. Nothing save the spirit of the land, that is. On this stone are engraved the words of an ancient queen and king of our people. It is said that the blood of these two monarchs flows through the veins of all desert dwellers. That's right, you're all related. Queen Neferta is the high priestess of the shrine. We spirit maidens are as dedicated to her majesty as we are to the spirit of the land. We pray four times each and every day. Today we will add a special prayer for you, our saviors, to ask that all your future journeys be safe ones. I think we're pretty much done here. Or just walk up like that. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. There's a teleportal nearby that'll lead back to the Shrine of Mysteries. So that you could, like, you know, get here quickly or whatever. If you wanted to for some reason. Without using the zoom spell. <laughs> but I'm just gonna open that. Uh, bah. Oh, there's people here. We stopped trading here in the Temple Palace long ago. We should have headed we should have headed home, really. It's just I can't be bothered to trek across all that sand. Yeah, fuck that, right? I really want to go back home. The problem is my partner. He doesn't seem to want to leave the place. Anybody on this side? No? Okay, well, I was a cat, but that's okay. I think there's people out here, yeah. This is the entrance of the to the temple palace. Haha, <laughs> it is so very nice and cool inside. I wish I did not have to stand out here. Sweep, sweep, sweep goes the sand. Sweep, 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 nice and clean. 
Oh, well, good day to you, Saviors. I must say, I do believe I sweep twice as well if I sing while I do so. You're gonna say the same thing. The Temple Palace must be swept several times a day, you know. Sand soon gathers in its corners. Many, many moons ago. <laughs> Hashtag joke about Star Trek. Uh, Star Trek. Star Wars Episode 2, right? The, uh, <laughs> the desert came under attack from vicious monsters. If it were not for you and the miracles you perform, we would surely have been wiped from history. We go to great lengths to ensure we do not forget what you did. It is a tale that is passed down from generation to generation. You see, we always helped that you would have an opportunity to one. We always hoped that we would have an opportunity to one day repay you. Can't talk today. We use this throne for special occasions, festivals and the like. That is why it must be kept clean and free in sand. The queen does not wish sand to go up her taint. I do hope you have the opportunity to wish witness one of our festivals. Every single desert dweller, gather together under the bright blue skies. Oh, but of course, this is an experience you have already had. At the Feast of Gratitude that was held for you. It was literally last night. On this side? Oh, oh here's a guy. This, is he going to say the same thing? No. A much shorter version of it. Welcome, saviors. As you know, the Temple Palace was once reduced to ruin by a horde of evil monsters. Of course, it has long since been rebuilt, and its former glory more than restored. I was told that the history of the Desert Dwellers was engraved on this gate. I thought perhaps I would find something in it that I might inspire a poem, but I can hardly string a sentence together in this heat. And these chains were used to restrain very bad men in order that they would dry out and become mummified. It does not take much time for a body to shrivel up completely without food or water in the desert heat, you know. They would simply remain here, crying out for just a drop to drink, until the sun finally overcame them and they collapsed into withered husks. That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> He's shaking violently and seems terrified. You're scaring your kid, lady. The fuck's wrong with you? Alright, so... Oh, Alright. I believe this is where the teleporter is. The oasis. Yeah. There it is. Let's see something real quick. Okay. Just open that up. Okay. We're gonna go back, though. We just wanted to open it, really. Alright, let's go to El Balad. Hey, hey, hey there, Pally. And there, you can see there's a fragment somewhere in here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, all right. Welcome to Albalad, saviors. Have a restful stay in our village, please. Greetings. I have a story from long, long ago. Will you hear it, saviors? My great, 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 great grandfather told me this. He said that the tra the great twirling machine used to be much, much higher up. Did you ever see something like that here in the olden days? Yes, I did. Truly, truly you did. So it has been half buried in the sand, hmm? What if such a thing happened to my house? It turns. It turns too much. I feel dizzy. Well, stop looking at it, kid. Jesus. What do we got in here? Right. <laughs> sleeping there. Grr. Hey, wait! Leave the cat alone. Smashy, smashy. We got a medicinal herb. and upstairs as well. Up ladder. It's not really upstairs. It's up ladder. Got a dancer's costume. Uh, I don't think that's going to be that good, but let me check. Yeah, it's not good. Alright. Nothing. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Just something to sell, right? See if I can break these. Smashy, smashy. Smashy, smashy. Roll up, roll up. Oh, it's you. You must be these saviors everyone keeps going on about. Now listen, I thought I was onto a good thing when I rented this shop, but I had so few customers I can hardly pay to keep it. So come on, saviors, get your purses out and save me from debtor's prison. Alright. Ah, 
I don't have anything I want. I'm gonna go in here, though. There is not much going on except for this guy. If you wish to purchase something, you must go to the stall in the front. I was once a shopkeeper myself, of course. That was many moons ago. However, before I fell out of love with the trade, now I simply rent the stall and out front to traveling merchants. I am earning money even while I am asleep. Are they clever, no? Yeah! Oh, I am sorry, Mother, I... Uh, huh? You had that apology ready to go, didn't you? Oh, you are not my mother. Please do not sneak up on me in that way. You see, I broke a plate. My mother is most frightening and would be very angry if she finds out. So I am trying to hide the evidence. So please, do not let her know where I am. You will not betray me, will you, saviors? Dude, I don't care. All right. Smashy, smashy. Ooh, mini medal. Hmm. Mini medal. Miniature medallion. And nothing. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. There are rumors that the urn in the middle of the village possesses mysterious power. It is said that it was given to the people of this village by one of our queens. All our queens have had special powers, you see. All of them. All the way back through the generations. Anything back here? No? Okay. First, let's break these. Smashy, smashy. Smashy, smashy. Talk to you. Where have those foolish, foolish boys gone now? They are always so slow to help, but so very fast when it comes to avoiding work. They will have the scolding of a lifetime when I find them. Oh, the saviors! How embarrassing. Oh. Uh, let's see. Check this. Nothing! Alright, smashy smashy. A seed of life! Let's go ahead and use that. Smashy smashy. Please leave me alone. It is too hot to do anything but sleep. Saviors or not, no one has the right to disturb my napping. That's fair. That's fair. I ain't gonna stun. You got a point there. My wife is furious. It is the eldest sons who have made her angry. But if they are not around, I will bear the brunt of her ire. Beloved saviors, please, you have to save me from my mother. Your mother or your wife? Hold on. Your wife is furious. The elder sons made her angry. But I need to save you from your mother. I think you're confused, or they translated part of that wrong. Is anything here? No? Okay. Alright. Smashy, smashy. Four dollars! This mansion belongs to our village elder. He would be delighted if you were to go and greet him, I am sure, dear saviors. Yeah, I'll check that out after I... Let's see. Welcome this way to the desert oasis sand. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you. Ah, our saviors, what a pleasure to have you here. Do you see that swollen mound of sand over there? That was once the roof of a house. Over time, more and more sand accumulated on top of it until it became completely covered. There, okay, wait, and... Okay, cool, I'm just checking every nook and cranny. Smashy, smashy. Horse manure. I hate manure. I don't know why I would want that, but okay. We're not gonna stay at the end, but smashy, smashy. Nothing else going on here. Okay. Talk to this guy. Oh, hello. Oh, it's just the church. All right, but I think I can get up in here. Yep, we can. Oh, this is where the fragment is. I suppose you are curious about what I am doing, yes? I sure am. Hmm, I see. Well, allow me to tell you. I am fishing. Sand fishing. I do not expect to catch anything, of course. I have never caught anything, but I am sure that will not change. But still, I continue to fish. I suppose you think me foolish, yes? No, you're, you're doing good. Hmm, I see. Actually, I think you're supposed to say yes, but... Doesn't matter. All right, we got the fragment. I don't think it matters. And before I go in there, we got a well to check out. Some people talk to, and I want to check behind that building too. Let me check behind it now, actually. Yeah, you can see this is where Hadid's mother stayed. Oh, I was trying to talk to the old lady, but all right. And nothing down there. Okay, you always got to check, though. You never know. The eldest children are a source of great consternation to everyone in this village. The three eldest boys are helpless, while the youngest appears to simply drift through life. As our saviors, I wish you had... I believe you have the right to know of such matters. 
Um, I don't have the right to care about it, though. This area was once a pond, I am told. Perhaps this is the, around the time when you first visited the desert. Yep. And now the pond's the well. Makes sense, right? Sorta, of, kinda. Of. This mansion belongs to our most beloved village elder. Our saviors are, of course, most welcome here. The elder awaits you in his room. Please proceed, dear saviors. Let's look around first. The elder sons are arguing upstairs. I do not know why they argue. After all, they have so much in common. That's why. The same ugly faces. The same empty heads. Now, 6,000 languages in the world. You choose to talk shit. Those three boys appear to find a new reason to argue every single day. I dread to think of what will be the, the, uh, what will become of the village when the current elder is forced to decide on a successor. I must confess, working here can be something of a nightmare. The three boys will fly into fierce argument if their food is not served at exactly the same time, or if it is not arranged in exactly the same way on the, on the plate. I shudder to think that one of them will become the next elder. Perhaps there is something you could do to set them on the correct path, dear saviors. Smashy, smashy. Pilchard Crackers! What the hell is going on in Discord right now? Just look. Yay! Oh. The Elder's three oldest sons are triplets. I suppose, therefore, it is only natural they should compete with one another. And there, of course, is the other brother. He is a great deal younger. He spends little time at home with his family. There is something unapproachable about him. Alright. Oh! Smashy smashy! I'm the savior, I can do this! Seed of magic! Alright. Oh, come on, game. It's the shader cache. Oh, the saviors! We desert dwellers have long awaited this day. We have waited countless centuries. Everything you see around you exists thanks to your actions. We owe you both our lives and our livelihoods. It is a great honor indeed to, to be the first elder in generations to have the opportunity to thank you in person. I imagine the village has changed a great deal since you visited. But the souls of we desert dwellers remain unchanged. They remain as ever full of gratitude towards you. Thank you once again for visiting us here. I pray that you will have a pleasant and restful stay. Pretty much at the end of this video, and I haven't done much, but let me just check up here. Oh, wrong button. This room belongs to the three very stupid, I mean, the elder's three eldest sons. The younger brother cannot stand to be in the same room as them. This being the case, he sleeps in the old hut behind the mansion. I'm gonna check that out soon. Smashy, smashy. Our glorious saviors, welcome. Welcome to Albalad. It is a great, great honor to meet you at last. Ho, ho, ho. I am but a lowly maid here in the Elder's Mansion. I cannot believe that one such as I has had the opportunity to lay eyes upon the saviors. And nothing. Alright, I'm going to stop right here, guys. I'll see you guys real soon with more Dragon Quest Seven: Fragments of the Forgotten Past.